Hello and welcome to a GT Sportsmates special video where we will be looking at the bad, the very bad and the what was he thinking. Yes, we're going to be looking at the worst drivers we have come across on the game. Jumping straight in at number 14 and we are here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway in field A. Now we're following the guy in 8th place here and just ahead there in 5th. Now it's a very close battle so far, uh, it's the, going on to the second lap as you can just see and this is where it goes a little bit wrong for the guy here. Just shunts the guy in 6 wide and then pushes myself off as well. Luckily I got back on track but the guy who got shunted off did drop down several positions. What was this guy doing? I don't know. Maybe he just missed his braking zone but you know when you do knock somebody off the track the polite thing to do is to slow down and give that position back here you go so he knocks the guy in six and me wide and like i said luckily i got back on but unfortunately the guy behind us did not going to number 13 now so here we are number 13 we are at spa that's right so we're here at spa going around the lasher cane to come on to lap number two now the guy here is going to be promoted up into fifth place as a hit an accident blur with the Corvette went wide, but he's not happy with fifth and he wants more. He's going to go up and he's going to go crashing straight into John Lur in second place, coming to a complete dead stop. What on earth was that? I have no idea. And then just because, look at this, get tangled in a weird kind of mashup there with the GTR, and he ends up falling all the way down to was it 15th? I'm not sure. Anyway number 12 so where are we going for number 12 we are here at red bull now don't blink or you'll miss it we're coming up to turn number one and he just gives luke a good shunt there and then myself and if you look behind the carnage he has left as he drives off into the sunset not a cur in the world of what he's just done gets a penalty though so a little bit of justice number 11 here we go, so we're almost in the top 10. So number 11 here at Brands Hatch, and here's me fighting for the lead. Small, uh, only four people in the race, but look at that, just the tiniest of taps. Very hard to miss, barely even noticeable, but does enough to send me off into our good old friend, the barrier. We'll have another quick look at it from the front, and you'll see the guy here, you'll just see him turning to me right there, and that is just enough to get two wheels on to the grass which sends me absolutely sideways. Um, very, very subtle, very subtle indeed. Number 10, so here we go, top 10. Where are we going for this one? So this is Kyoto Driving Park and we're in the Mazda Roads, the lap eight of eight. I'd led from the beginning and here we go into the last corner, bang straight out the way from the guy in second place who doesn't slow down, no, he just drives off to try and take the checkered flag in second. Now, luckily, he did get a penalty, so I did end up coming in first at this point. And there's a little bit of a battle there, as you can see as well, from the two guys behind. But yeah, let's have another look from his point of view. Was he ever going to actually make this corner? What do you think? No, he's not. He's definitely not going to make that. He uses me as the brakes. And he doesn't care, he just drives off, getting a healthy two-second penalty as well for his troubles, which ironically sends him down from first, now, technically, to fourth. So he loses out quite badly. All he had to do was come behind, sit behind me, and he would have come in second. But no, he ends up in fourth place. Number nine now. Where are we going for number nine? So we're here at Nürburgring GP. Now this is me. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to do something a bit different. We're going to pause the video here. Now you can see I'm in second and I'm coming up behind the guy in ninth. So I'm about to lap him and he's not very happy. As you can see, goes straight into the side of me, tries his hardest to get me off the track. And I thought I might be able to get back on, but no, out of nowhere for a second hit, he comes flying across into the gravel with myself, who I then drop down. But was it intentional? Well, here we go. Absolutely, you can hear he's not even moving until we're getting close and then as I come down Moves over to try and get the tap. He does manage to do it And then he comes along again just to make sure I get completely finished off in the gravel I drop down then from second to what's that seventh uh, No ninth sorry 
and it's not even over. He's going to try one more time to get me as we come down to the bottom hurt. But luckily for me, his driving skills and his aim are both the same. Absolutely rubbish. So he didn't manage to get me on the herping. But, you know, I just couldn't believe it when that happened. I was, I was actually gutted, I'll be completely honest. But it wasn't a bad race from that point. Number eight. Right, here at Monza. This was a daily race. And as you can see, we're in six on the final lap from around the last bend. The guy in fifth got a penalty. I'm going to come in in fifth then due to that. But he's not happy. He doesn't want that to happen. So what is he going to do here? That's right, he's going to start pushing and pushing and try and get me into the pit. Tap of the brakes and I... Around the back I go, they come across the line to, to basically steal fifth off him. That's what I've done because of his penalty. But what on earth was he thinking? One more time, a different angle, and you can see just how bad this actually was. As we come around, he just starts pushing me off track there, and now I'm on the grass. Luckily, I didn't spin it, and I just managed to hit the brakes enough to get behind him and then go along the side. So that was Monza. <laughs> Unbelievable. Number seven. Right, so where we'll be coming at number seven. Dragon Trail Seaside. Now, here we go. We're behind the guy who caused the incident. I'm in fourth alongside, and he's just going to turn in, turn in, push me off, and just carry on driving off into the sunset. Not a cur in the world about what he's just done. One more time from my point of view, I'm coming down, and then he just gives me a little tap, and as soon as I hit that grass, there's nothing I can do. I'm going off, dropping down, and then trying to get back on track accidentally i wiped the guy out in the ferrari so i felt really bad though did what i should do i stopped and i gave him the position back that's what you do even if you get wiped out you still have to stop and give positions back if you cause an accident number six here again a dragon trail seaside it seems to be familiar this actually but coming through the death chicane which has killed many a driver we get a good run on the last lap, we're going to try and go around the guy in third, and he doesn't like it. One, two, and then he does try a third time to wipe us out. And in so doing, he actually drops down from fourth to fifth. One more time as we come under the tunnel, you'll see it here. Turn in, turn in, and then tries again, and he goes off and hits the barrier. Like I said, he dropped then down from fourth to fifth, costing himself another place just because he didn't want me to go past. That's what greed gets you. It gets you to lose positions. Top five now. So here we go. Number five. Where are we going to be? We're here at the Red Bull again. And this time we've been following the guy who causes or tries to cause an issue in the McLaren F1. That's me ahead. And he's just going to cut across. And luckily, just about misses the back end of my car. Though. Otherwise, that would be devastating. I'd have been absolutely gone. There was no way I was going to survive that one not a clue what he was thinking number four right here we go number four and we are back at nurberg gp ironically this is the same race as the one a few minutes ago this is the same race so you know you think nothing else can happen right well unfortunately for us not true we're going to pause the video here and as you can see i'm in third our friend luke is in second and ahead of us that's the guy in 10. we're on the second lap he's still on the first lap he's about to get lapped and much like the other guy who tried to ram me off the track, well, this guy also has the same theory. Let's see what he does now. As we're coming along, Luke takes the inside to go around the chicane. Now, he's currently ghosted there, as you saw, but he comes back out the ghost. And I'm thinking, I'll just go around, I'll take my time. No, he's not having any of that. And he's going to go straight into and take out Luke for absolutely no reason whatsoever. No reason whatsoever. One more view from this point. And you'll see just how bad that was. Completely intentional. He had no reason. And he also had no... Yeah, he, he didn't know, I don't think, what he was doing. Oh, he did, actually. No, look at that. It just completely goes and wipes Luke out. Absolutely no reason for it. And that dropped Luke down from second to what turns to be seventh, as you can see there now. Just an absolute joke. Number three. Top three. Okay, here we go. So number three sees us at Spa. Now read the back of his car, and that is exactly what he was telling us all as he came down to the end of the long straight to do this. What on earth was he doing? Almost takes out the Aston Martin on re-entry. Just unbelievable. So let's have one more look at that, shall we? 
here we go. Now, this is the first lap. It's not even like last lap efforts. This is the first lap, and he doesn't go straight across, cuts both corners, almost loses it, holds it somehow, and then almost wipes out the Aston Martin as well. That was just absolutely ridiculous. And when that happened, I couldn't believe it. Okay, number two. Here we go. Where will we find ourselves for number two? Back at Monza, different race, luckily, but unfortunately, a very similar theme to our previous Monza race. Now, this is lap five of 11. We're halfway through, halfway. So there's a lot of racing left to go, but the guy to the left of me in fourth doesn't like the fact I'm gonna get past him. He just starts pushing me and tries to get me to go into the pit. Can't succeed and then breaks and just tries one more time to get me to, I'm assuming, spin out. Not gonna happen. Why is it such a problem? Well, anyone who's played the game knows the pit stops are brutal. 25 seconds maybe, and that would have absolutely destroyed my race if he had managed to get me to go into them pits. Just absolute shock. And have a look at this. Gives me a good shunt there trying, and I just about get past, and then he breaks to turn in one more time. What on earth are these people doing? What? Why are they even playing the game? I don't know. So, number one. How bad can it be? Well, we're gonna watch John here as he's coming down towards Eau Rouge at Spa, lap four of five. Now you can go for Eau Rouge side by side. It's very, very difficult, but the guy in second has no intentions of doing it. And he's just gonna go and tap John and send him flying off into the barrier there. And John is gonna drop down several positions. One more time from this angle. And you can see he just comes across taps him enough to send him and that is a brutal send that is absolutely brutal in a real race that would have been you know black flag that would have been race over and john's going to go down from third to six as i come past him there on the straight what was he doing now a special mention i've just got to throw these in at the end back here with the nurburgring gp and we all know the guy he's in the background he's hunting like a shark smelling blood coming down to the first corner, we're on board Luke, looking behind, and he's just gonna take the guy out in seventh place. He's not happy there, and he's gonna go one more time, and he's gonna come after us this time. So, here we go, coming down the long straight at the back towards the last chicane, I'm in second, and here he comes from behind, tries his hardest to wipe me out there. Luckily, I saw that coming, I saw, I was ready for him, I was on the brakes, he wasn't gonna be able to move me, well, that was the theory anyway, and luckily it paid off. I turned in as late as I possibly could, as you will see here, but just look at this. There's no way he's trying to do anything else. Just look at that, and then gets reset for his troubles. So, there we are, everyone. That's our countdown, top 14 random number, yes, of the worst drivers we have ever come across. We hope you've enjoyed the video, so please give us a comment and a like, and we will see you all next time.